Okay, we'll be going to uh, debate question number one. And uh, that question is going to be taken by uh, Jeff, and we will just uh, be rotating uh, uh, to Trent on question two, and then Pete Tucker on question three, and then work our way back here. So first, there's a background to uh, question one. I've given the, all the candidates quite a bit of material to study. Uh, this, uh, this has to do with the downtown core uh, strategic plan. Um, the downtown core is, uh, is a plan that was, uh, part of this was put together by uh, uh, the Roma Design Group. Uh, they designed the, the Third Street Promenade in, uh, in Santa Monica. So there's an extensive uh, amount of uh, material on the city website. And if you're interested in the background information on any of these questions, you can go to this website and just click on right at the top of the webpage. It says 2015 Hermosa Beach City Council Candidate Debate Questions. And before each question is quite a bit of uh, background material. But anyway, there's a link on this particular question dealing with the downtown's core strategic plan update. And it's an upgrade of the downtown. And, uh, and, and anyway, r rather than getting deep explanation about it, I'll just read what the, uh, what the, uh, the plan ha had in its first paragraph. The downtown core uh, revitalization strategy is intended to provide a comp comprehensive approach for increasing the vitality of the downtown, including assessing the role of key private sites and potentially levering, sit, leveraging city assets to achieve city goals. So uh, once again, uh, you can uh, click on the um, staff report. So this was part of a city council meeting. And you can get the entire uh, information on that. I will uh, read debate question one uh, for Jeff then. What's your opinion regarding accepting the strategy and a set of uh, principles and guidelines to help guide the implementation of the downtown core revitalization? What are your thoughts on the overall downtown core revitaliz revitalization strategy if implemented as a whole? Jeff? Well, thank you, Al. Well, first of all, let's make no mistake. This is a city council approved plan. Just under $250,000 is already committed to the streetscape design alone and requests for proposals go out on October 15th. And I wonder how many of you in this room are watching are aware of this approved transformation of a four block area in the downtown, not as discussion, but as implementation. In 1996, I was hired by the city to handle community relations during the construction of the Pier Plaza redevelopment. This earlier improvement plan had many of the same goals and used much of the same language. So you have to ask yourself, now nearly 20 years later, are you happy with the results we see on the plaza and the surrounding area? Was the city's intention to drive away daytime serving businesses to see them replaced by bars and bars posing as restaurants? I don't think so. I, I just think that they didn't think of the potential consequences of their actions. It's time we start giving this current project the attention it deserves to insist that we, as a community, not just realtors, property owners, developers, staff, and city council, be part of the conversation about this important change before another element is checked off the page. Thanks, Jeff. Trent? The city's strategic plan is a forward-looking plan, and it does want to reinvent our downtown and make it better, which it certainly needs. Some of its major strategies, it, as proactive strategies, are to make it a family-friendly environment, inviting to all, which I am certainly in favor of. It also wants to make it more of a daytime district, and that sounds really good to me. It's more pedestrian orientated so that we have more walking paths, so we have more outdoor dining, and we have more retail uh, that meet the 21st century needs of our citizens. We also want to maintain our eclectic beach character, which is a little more difficult to define, but I think as Hermosans we know what that is, and that's a lot of diversity and a lot of fun and innovative thinking, and a lot of people coming from all across this country to live here because it's such a great place. We also have a catalyst development in the downtown Pier Plaza area with the addition of the new hotel properties, which will bring a lot of this good stuff to us. It'll bring daytime traffic. It'll bring increased revenue with the TOT. It will class up Pier Plaza and make it more family fun and orientated. We also have a lot of public and private investment going into the area with uh, 
Ballure Associates as the hotel, the main pier and strand. We also have some land use zoning recommendations. So there is a lot to the strategic plan. And studied carefully, it offers a lot of benefits to Hermosa. And looking forward, we right, can certainly summarize. make this a better place. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Uh, yeah, by, by the way, I mean, uh, when you're coming near the end of the report, if I say summarize, you can finish your point. Um, okay, uh, Pete. Oh, thank you. Uh, the downtown uh, core revitalization was originally called the Roma Report. Uh, improvements to the Pier Plaza are long overdue. It's uh, almost 20 years old, and as any major retailer would tell you, it's time to renovate and, and re-attract uh, people that we've lost. Originally, it was designed as a street to be closed on Friday nights and, and uh, reopen at midnight on Sunday. It became a walking plaza. The proposed improvements will make the plaza a family-friendly environment with added landscaping, a possible small stage for musicians and city functions and other features for the children of the community. The plans for Hermosa Avenue should not be from 10th Street to 14th Street, but should start at 8th Street and end at 16th, for this is where the downtown is located. We can't forget Ashley's or Chef Melba's. They're all in that area, so that's the total downtown. Uh, major hotels have expressed uh, interest in the downtown area. You, the residents, will have input on what kind of a hotel development you'd like to see to maintain Herm Hermosa's quality of life. I have met with the developers and have stated that Hermosa will not diminish our quality of life for added revenues. This will be your choice when we have the EIR uh, presentations from the hotel developers. The, impl implementa the implementation of the downtown shall be driven from input from the residents, as has been done with the RUDAT, Economic Development Plan, Upper Peer Action Plan, and Aviation PCH Committee, and Measure O, which led to the defeat of Measure O. Actions taken today will impact Hermosa for years to come. We all have to ask ourselves, what do I want Hermosa to be in the future? The decision will be yours to make. Thank you. Thanks, Pete. Justin? Uh, let me just briefly tell you what I support and what I don't support in the downtown core revitalization strategy. I support the big picture goal, which is turning downtown into a family and pedestrian friendly area. There are 20,000 people in Hermosa, enough to support our local business if we make it better and easier for them to shop and eat in Hermosa Beach. We want to keep them here rather than having people go to Manhattan Beach or Redondo Beach to do their shopping and go out to dinner. This is only going to get more important as Redondo develops its waterfront with attractions that are going to pull visitors and residents to Redondo. If residents want to shop and eat here, visitor, visitors are going to want to shop and eat here too, and the result is going to be not only a healthy community, but a healthy economy. So I support the big picture goal of that strategy. What I do not support are a couple things. One is increasing the height limit. 30 feet is the right height for downtown. That's where it should be. And the second thing is the call for three parking structures west of Hermosa Avenue, beachward of Hermosa Avenue. I don't support that. We're going to get into more detail about that in question number two. OK, Justin, thanks. Ken? Thank you. Uh, I also have concerns about the downtown parking structures. Um, what I'd rather see is I'd rather see City Hall have the parking structure underneath of it, kind of our own Metlocks Plaza, uh, and a new, brand new, ultra energy efficient City Hall. Uh, uh, perhaps we could temporarily move City Hall up to the 24 hour fitness building up at 16th and PCH, um, and then move back here when that project was completed. I would be in favor of higher price parking downtown or reduced price parking on Upper Pier if we put a structure up here. Um, I think that would help eliminate some of the traffic flowing around in the downtown area looking for spaces. Um, and I'm not really in favor of a two-lane Hermosa Avenue. Uh, if you remember back when we were looking at what to do with Upper Pier Avenue and we converted that from four lanes to two lanes, uh, there were many people that were not happy with that change. I would like to see us investigate more and find out what residents' thoughts are on it uh, because the city before made that move and it was a problem for many residents. Um, the downtown core revitalization strategy, it is a start. 
I think there's many good things in there. I still think it needs a lot of work and it needs resident work too. Thanks, Ken.